This tutorial is going to go over how to find the designs that you make and how to organize them so you can quickly access them later. So let's go ahead and start with something from a template. Last video I did CD covers, so let's do podcast covers and pick a template. Now this also works if you create a custom design, it's the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a design and we're going to go ahead and save it and customize it. So I'm going to click customize. This automatically brings this up in a brand new tab, which you'll see up here. And it's automatically going to save changes. So as you make changes, this little icon is going to save much like Google Drive. So let's say we come in here and we decide to make some changes and we're ready to save it so we can come back to it. Now this tab will stay open until you are ready to close it. So there's a home tab and the project tab. So we can navigate away from this, go back to the home tab. Of course, it left me right where I left off. So I'm going to click out of that and I want to return home. So I'm going to go back to home, but you'll notice as I'm doing all this, this tab, this project is still available. So until I click this little X button, it will be there, but eventually you will probably want to click that. So let's go ahead and close out and find where Canva puts it. So once I X out of that, I'm back on my home page, and all of your recent designs are going to be under recent designs. So anytime you open up Canva, things that you've been working on recently will be right here. Now, Let's talk about how to organize this in a way where you can put, say, all of your podcast album covers in one place. So we're going to go to Projects on the left-hand menu. Now under Projects, you have all of your recent designs. You can sort projects by designs, images, videos. We're going to go ahead and create a folder. If I scroll down, you'll see my folders are right here followed by my designs, and if I scroll farther, images, and then video. I want to create a folder. So I, were, I went ahead and made a podcast folder, so I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to add new, click folder, I'm going to name it podcast2, because we're creating a new one here. Now to add items to your folder, all you do is hover over the image, and click the three dots. And then we're going to move to folder. Now your recent folders will be right here. And if you don't see it, you can always click all. I'm going to go ahead and put it in podcast two, since that's the one I just created and move to folder. Now, when I come to my folder, podcast two, there's one item in there. So as you create new templates and new graphics, always put it into your folder. And then when you open up Canva and you come to this screen, you can either quickly access it from recent designs, or if you want to go back and access all of the images and projects you created, you're going to go to projects and you're going to scroll to folders and you're going to go to your folder and everything will be there. Now it's helpful to rename these. This one is covered black neon, welcome blank podcast cover. So we might want something a little different than that. You'll see as I hover over it, there's a little pencil icon. And this is just helpful for organizing. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and say my first cover. And then I'm just gonna click the side here to save that. And now when I'm under my folder, it's going to have a title that's going to help me find it later. And if I go back to all projects, you'll see that under recent designs, that name will save there as well. And there we go. And you can see it's under my podcast two folder, which I can also conveniently access by clicking that. Now, if at any point I want to go home, here we are. And you can have multiple projects open at once. So again, as I click on that, it opens in a tab. And let's say I go back to the home page. That doesn't close it. It just navigates away from it. Let's say I want to click on this. You'll see it starts opening up projects 
in new tabs. So you can have multiple projects open at once and always have access to that home screen. And then of course, when you're done, I'm gonna go ahead and click the X to get rid of that, click the X to remove it. And even right here from the home page, if you wanna add something to a folder, there's always the three dots and oops, make a copy, you can make a copy. Or what I meant to do was move to folder.